Hi there everybody, Nikki here. Welcome to episode one of the Home Truths playlist. What I'm going to do today is share with you all a very brief sentence that I heard Jesus share with us all during the Divine Truth Volunteer uh, training program that I was grateful enough to be present at. Uh, now the sentence itself is, be soft to the next whisper. To me, this sentence is probably the most beautiful thing I've ever heard Jesus say over the time that Jesus has been teaching uh, divine truth. And I know that's a pretty big thing to say, um, but to me, uh, I feel there's just so much meaning and there's so many principles in this tiny sentence, only consisting of, sh uh, of six uh, very short words. Um, but what I'd like to do is just offer my own brief interpretation of what I feel the sentence um, means to me. The first two words of the sentence, be soft, to me, screams the quality humility. Now Jesus has said over the course of many of his videos that the quality of humility is probably one of the most important qualities that we all should look at uh, developing within our own hearts if we are to um, develop and uh, continue our personal relationship with God, uh, probably alongside the other really important quality uh, of faith. Be soft totally and perfectly signifies the, what I feel is the actual essence or nature of the quality of humility. It almost um, demonstrates to me that we should try to be soft to our own feelings other people's feelings around us and also to the conditions uh, in our environments at any given moment in every single day um, and also try to kind of be soft to what God's trying to show us uh, through God's law of attraction too. The words to the next whisper I feel is a beautiful um, representation of what I feel to be some of God's um, personal uh, attributes, qualities and, and nature. I uh, feel that as uh, God's caring, uh, gentle and kind um, feelings towards us at all times. And God doesn't try to, you know, like ram things down our throats if we don't want to see them, if we have a desire to carry on with how we've always been, even though it's to our own personal detriment. God lets us do it, but is still just there in the background trying to lead us and trying to show us a better way. And how much contrast is that to probably how most of us felt during our childhoods when we were forced things down our throats by our parents or other primary teachers in our most important years. And I feel it's just a beautiful contrast between how God truly is with us all um, in comparison to how uh, most of us kind of felt in our childhoods. What I picture when I've looked back at the course of my life uh, before I came across Divine Truth and even during the time that I have come across divine truth is that in my life there's been all of this white noise just everywhere um, and you know I've kind of uh, run around life as a bit of a headless chicken at times you know always being busy doing things and trying to get people to like me and trying to earn money so I can live and something I've never been really aware of before is that amongst all of that white noise throughout my entire life uh, God's been there, God's whisper has been there the whole time. It's like it's just been the one constant and I get the feeling that um, like it's really important for us to kind of try to tune our own hearts into God's frequency so we can hear God. Um, and when I say hear, I don't mean hear God uh, audibly uh, through our audible perceptions. Uh, of our physical body, but I, I mean actually hear God here in our heart. Because of that, I feel like God is more of a guiding hand in my life uh, rather than just merely a voice. 
it's a lot more personal than that. Jesus has mentioned in the past uh, that it is such an important thing for us all to try and um, create soul space. And I feel what Jesus means by that is uh, to give ourselves the personal time that we need if we want to kind of tune into God's frequency and observe what God's trying to show us every day, uh, but also to give ourselves the time to kind of interpret what God's trying to show us and to give ourselves time to connect with our own feelings at every moment, connect with who we really are in our hearts. And I get the feeling that the more soul space we um, kind of create in our lives, uh, and the more we are still, rather than just running around, like I said before, like crazy people, um, the more uh, louder, hopefully, that God's whisper may become in our lives. I feel the word next in the statement is so important as well. See, to me, when I think of that, I get the feeling that um, once we have heard uh, one of God's whispers, and we've kind of learned from that whisper and we've moved on. There's another whisper that's going to be coming our way almost instantaneously. And it's almost like uh, God's got this conveyor belt of information that uh, God wants to give to us all, but knows we can't handle all at the same time. So I feel that demonstrates just how kind God is as well. But also it gives me a great comfort as well and solace knowing that we all have this parent who wants to slowly nurture us through life and is always there with us through every single step of the way. Interestingly as well, the more I felt about the statement, be soft to the next whisper, the greater the contrast uh, that has been demonstrated in my life where in the past I've always listened to either the loudest person or the angriest person in the room and that has got definitely been of detriment to myself. Although God has the most authority and is the most loving um, individual and most loving being in the universe, God doesn't force God onto any of us. And I feel the more we all grow in that personal relationship with God and the more loving we become, we will kind of reflect that as well to other people. And what I feel is really cool about the statement is that when somebody is whispering to us, it kind of implies like that the person must be really close to us in terms of proximity for us to even be able to have a chance of hearing what that person's saying. And I feel that's what this statement really uh, demonstrates to me that God is just so close to all of us at every single moment uh, on a daily basis. And God's just there, um, you know, in our ear, trying to mention these things to us. And as I said before, not in our ear, but in our hearts. And God's there just trying to pull on our heartstrings. Um, and at any given moment, each of us have like a tiny opening. God's just instantly there, just like, hey, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this. This is what you need to look at. Like, imagine if every day each of us had, um, had an aspiration and desire um, going to God, like a prayer going to God, asking God to help, help us be soft to God's next whisper, how much we'd all potentially um, pick up and observe through the course of a single day. I know I miss a heck of a lot of stuff every day, what God's trying to show me uh, in areas of my life, um, but I kind of get the feeling that the most important thing is having that aspiration to want to know more. And when we do want to know more, ultimately we probably will. It kind of demonstrates even more the amount of desire we must all try to grow if we are to develop our relationship with God to a deeper point, a more meaningful point. So it kind of um, displays to me that it's a very active process when you're trying to hear somebody whispering you really you know you have to really concentrate and really tune into what that person's saying to understand what they're saying but anyway that's just my very brief interpretation of what I feel the sentence be soft to the next whisper means for me what do you guys feel the sentence means for you thanks for listening everybody bye